What's up, freaks and YouTube friends? Yeah, guys, I told you I got this. It was coming today, and it came today. And I gotta say, amazing. If I had to rate this, you know, from 1 to 10, it's definitely a 10. So for all you guys that are waiting for it right now, let me tell you, this figure is a beast. He's a beast. Um, this is my first Predator figure that I've owned. First one I ever bought. Sorry about the shaky camera. Uh, unfortunately, my tripod top to it broke, so I can't fucking mount it. Oh, well then. We'll get right into the figure. Amazing job. I'll just let you guys take it all in right now. Fantastic job. I mean, Hot Toys is stepping up their game. I've only been collecting for a year, and I can tell you right now that they've come a long way. I mean, just looking at, like, older figures compared to what they've done now, it's just, it's insane. And they're so worth the money. For $189, this guy is heavy. I mean, like I said, I've never owned a Predator, so I don't really know how heavy they usually are, but this fucker is heavy. I mean... The T-800 Arnold from Terminator 2, he was pretty heavy. I mean, this blows it away. But um, we'll get right to the accessories, I guess. Um, it came with a open-palmed hand. Um, I'm thinking that the reason why that they gave us this is for... Because in the movie, that when he grabs the um, classic Predator by the throat. So, I guess that's why they gave you that. Um... He also comes with another fisted hand. I have the fist in that arm right now. And then he has this hand, which is like a semi-open, like a grasp. He's grasping something, like, obviously. And very carefully, I'm going to take this out. I know, uh... A skull trophy spine thing has come with other predators. Like I said, I, I've never owned one, so I don't really know. But you guys can see the actual detail on this is remarkable. No bottom jaw. Like you could see, like that there was actual like tissue and shit on there. You know, they didn't do it smooth. And as you can see, all the way down the spinal cord. I mean, it it looks wet. It looks. This is toe for grace. <laughs> Fucking prick. Anyways, um, yeah, right down to, uh, whatever, you know, like ligaments and shit like that, you know, amazing job, Hot Toys, you know, they don't mess around, I mean, look at that, the detail on it is, you know, incredible. Alright, you have his, uh, open mandibles, which, you know, they were a lot wider than the other Predators, um. I'll keep one closed, one open, so you guys can see what they look like. There's a lot of detail on them. You know, they are what they are. Uh, new feature that Hot Toys is doing now. These are real metal, guys. Um, uh, I don't have nothing to demonstrate. Oh, okay. I can take this fucking ow, knife and uh, show you. If you guys can hear the tang, then. Okay, so it comes with three different, uh, from his gauntlet, blades from his gauntlet. He has a shorter one, which, you know, is probably just the one that shows just a little bit. Because um, the blade is way too long for them to have a retractable one that goes in and out. Then they give you the next step down, which is that one. And then they give you the one that's in his gauntlet now. Like I said, real metal, heavy. You know, then I, you don't have to worry about breaking it. Because I know, you know, if it was in plastic, somebody would end up breaking it. Uh, obviously, it's got a regular Hot Toys uh, stand. Um, I know a lot of people have speculations on um, why it's so small. You know what I mean? They, they could have beefed up the stand just for the Predators. 
Because he, like, barely fits on it, you know. I have no problem with it. The base, the stand does what it does. Is it does its job, and it holds the figure from falling over and smashing. All right, we'll get right uh, back up to the helmet. I don't know. Somebody else had this same problem, I guess. Uh, my battery in the LED is dead. I've connected everything. I haven't changed it. I haven't taken it out, so um, I can't show you the light-up feature. But the mask, I mean, it's insane. It, it actually looks like bone. And these teeth are very sharp. They're actually pointy. Fucking crazy. The mask got a little uh, weathering on it. You know, it's it's not like a smooth surface, as you guys can see here. Um, same with his armor. It has like a texture to it. Incredible, incredible figure. The joints are very, very tight. Like, almost like solid and you gotta like work him in that uh, this pose that you just seen him in that's the way he's gonna be so I, I don't really need to fuck with it anymore but i'll get right to um you know his are these boots are these supposed to be boots I, I guess they are i mean they're not his raw feet so i mean then you got his um shin armor whatever the fuck it is his um Loin cloth is made of some type of leather. It's not real leather, but it looks good. Um, his shit. This is why tripods come in handy. Sorry, guys, for a shitty video. I apologize in advance. And my voice is fucking gone. His um, you know, computer on his arm does open up. As soon as this focuses, and that's what it looks like. There's no red in there. It's all uh, gold and silver. So that's what that is. Um, as you guys could see there. Guy's 100% worth getting this figure. Get him now before he goes up, and you know he's going to go up. Price is going to skyrocket very soon. I don't know when. I mean, I just looked at the, the T-800 Arnold, and it's already up to 250 So, And that just came out. All right, we'll get right uh, to his shoulder cannon. This was unattached in the box, so you had to put it on. Um, it does move left and right, but it's very stiff. Because, I mean, you're not going to play with the fucking thing. And the tip of it does rotate, like in the movie. Which is pretty cool that they did that and they added that. Good feature. It has a little pivot up and down, very, very slightly. You don't want to force it, you don't want to break it. Um, obviously the Predator's signature, uh, dreadlocks is shit locks. They are made of, uh, like a rubber. Um, think of it as, like, anybody goes fishing, like a, a fake worm. That's what they feel like. Just like that. So that whatever that rubber material is it that they use, that's what it is. And it's got that wiggle to it. I mean, great, great job on it. The paint application on the body is, uh, like I said, ridiculous, and, um, you know, I, I couldn't ask for anything more. It's definitely worth the money. Like I said, right now, you better get them before the price does skyrocket. I notice new things uh, Hot Toys is doing with the joints. They are now extending the thigh right over the knee so it hides the joint. Which is uh, something great. I mean, they're gonna come up. They're gonna come up with stuff that, you know, they're just gonna keep getting better. Like I said, so that hides the joint in the front, which is, you know, it only makes sense that you want to hide the joint in the front, not in the back, because nobody's really gonna see the back of the figure. Um, the mask, it just like, I don't, I don't think it's a magnet, but it definitely just goes right on, like no worry no hassle it's just like it just goes right on sorry i'm gonna put this down i'm gonna take his wire off his uh the back of him get the fucking thing all right that's off sorry about that guys so there's the helmet the bio helmet Again, excellent job. Um, the eyes do have a little bit of gloss. They're not translucent or anything. Obviously, you guys know that's where the LED is. Um, 
this is the wire that connect the power to the light. Uh, the inside of the mask, you know, pretty generic. It's not like Baloo's mask that he's making. That thing is insane, by the way. And it does have uh, pads uh, down by where the mouth is. So, you know, obviously there's no paint rub or anything like that. Good thing Hot Toys put that in consideration. And on to the head sculpt. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You know, the uh, I couldn't ask for anything else. It's that good. I think it's that good. You know, everybody's entitled to opinion. I mean, this guy's just a fucking beast. Look at his face. Pussy face. Hey, pussy face. But like I said, guys. You know, the just the texture and everything. I mean, I don't know if it's a, a completely 100% movie accurate. But, I mean, it, it looks good. I mean, he even, he even got his, uh, you know, the quills coming out. Yep, the quills here, They're already pre-installed. Um, he's got some sort of quills coming out the side also. The eye looks very good, as you can see. I mean, overall, it's just a remarkable figure. Hot Toys has definitely come a long way. I know I said that already. So, I will make a cut here and open the mandibles, and you can see what he looks like. Yelling at you. Alrighty. Open mandibles. What a sick bastard. Guys, like I said, um, I'm not a professional reviewer. I don't have a tripod. I just, I'm going to point out things at, uh, off the top of my head as I go along. I, you know, everything's improv. I don't write shit down. I just go with it. So, I have uh, well over 600 subscribers on YouTube. So, you know, if you don't like my videos, you don't have to watch them. Yeah, kidding. All right, so uh, this pussy face. Um, yeah, I think I was uh, a little too proper in this video. I might be myself now. You know, I was trying to, you know, because whatever. But I mean, I don't know how the fuck they do teeth that little. But you know, those Asians, man, Hong Kongies, they're they're very talented. It's small things that they can do. As open mandibles. Guys, totally worth picking up this figure. I mean, I'm going to have to back way up just to get a shot of him. I will do a height comparison once I uh, put all this shit back on him. Like I said, um, I'll make another cut. Alrighty. Everything's back assembled how I want them. That's how I'm going to pose them. You guys want to see something funny? Look at the size comparison to the T-1000. He's like a fucking midget. And they're both on stands. He's like a little boy compared to him. Uh, this Predator, Berserker Predator, is a fucking beast. And I wish I had the P1 so I can compare him. But, I mean, look at the size of him. Robert Patrick's, like, the top of his ears are at the fucking shoulders of the Predator. So, you know, there's your size comparison. He is a beast. Hope you guys like the review. Um, you know... Sorry it was so long, I just, I had to say a lot of stuff, and, you know, you guys, I totally, 100% recommend getting this figure if you guys have a chance to get them. If you have them on order, I know the weight is going to be killing you guys if you guys have pre-order, if you're just waiting for it to get delivered, but you're going to love it when it gets there, trust me. Alright guys, thanks for watching.